Moins d'un an après la sortie de son second album solo, The Master, en 99, Hakim se voit proposer par Dr. Dre l'opportunité de signer sur son label. Voulant élargir sa fanbase et toucher ainsi plus de monde avec sa musique, Hakim saisit l'occasion et signe sur Aftermath lors d'une visite sur le tournage du clip de Stan d'Eminem en 2000. Après plusieurs semaines de rumeurs, la signature est officiellement annoncée en octobre, avec dans la foulée le titre de son album, Oh My God, censé alors sortir sur le label de Dr. Dre au printemps 2001, avec des productions de Dr. Dre, DJ Premier et Melman. Malheureusement, l'album ne verra jamais le jour. Le style de Dre était à l'époque le gangster rap, tandis que Rakim voulait justement profiter d'être avec le producteur de Compton pour faire un méga projet conscient et sans punchline que tout le monde puisse écouter. Like, nah, Dre, that's, that's, that's reality, man. That's my man that's caught up in the bond that's going through that shit. Dre got a formula. It always works for him. And, you know, it's gangster rap. You know what I mean? And he feels, you know, I had to let him know, like, come on, Dre, I've been there, did that. I don't think, you know, people want to hear, you know, Rod go, you know, take it back to the streets. Like, nah, you know, this is what it is. And, il souhaitait également poser sur les instrus qu'il voulait et qui étaient différentes de celles que Dre lui proposait. I used a lot of, and, and that was the thing, I always uh, like writing the records that, you know, attracted me to it right away. And sometimes it wasn't, you know, the, the popular choice that, you know, was, was uh, I guess, like the universal sound. I would, you know, pick abstract beats, but um, it brought that abstract rock him out, so. And that was the thing with Dre too, knowing that, you know, I was used to picking beats that wasn't always, you know, universal. Hakim assure avoir fait le maximum pour s'intégrer au mieux à l'équipe de Dre. I would get a little grimy than I usually would, mm -hmm. but it was still, you know, not not cross the line as far as he wanted me to. He mm -hmm. wanted me to tell stories and I guess be a little disrespectful, but uh, you know, that, that ain't right. Just trying to keep my ID, but you know, you know, you 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 go out to California, you trying to you know, um, you know, make moves in your career. And, and so, you know, I was trying to fit in and, and not be uh, difficult to work with or, you know, a diva or whatever, man. Cause you know, I do, I do have my certain, you know, style of music that I like to write to. Um, I got my way, you know what I mean? That I like to get down, but you know, you, you out there, you know, le problème, c'est que faire ce que Dre voulait aurait changé l'identité musicale du MC New Yorkais. Trying to adapt to what Dre wanted to do, but at the same time, uh, keep my grounds as far as you know who I am, and, and, and you know I had to let Dre know, you know, you know who I am. Rakim a finalement réalisé que ça n'allait pas se faire et c'est lui qui a été le premier à dire qu'il voulait arrêter. Il a annoncé à Dre qu'il allait rentrer à New York et Dre lui a demandé de rester quelques semaines afin de tenter de lui proposer quelque chose de différent. Mais un mois après, Rakim n'a vu aucune évolution. En juillet 2003, Soit moins de trois ans après la signature, Hakim et Dr. Dre décident d'un commun accord de mettre fin à leur collaboration. Une fois rentré à New York, il s'est acheté un nouveau studio pour enregistrer ce qui deviendra son troisième album, The Seven Seal, sorti en 2009. Hakim raconte ici le problème qu'a posé cette mésaventure avec Dre. That was an album. So when I went to Cali and started working, I did a lot of work. And when I realized it wasn't gonna come out, then I had to realize where I was gonna start from. Was I gonna, you know, remix what I did out there or just, you know, forget it and start from scratch? And and to me that's like the hardest thing. Cause I hate I hate recycling, but I hate leaving chapters out. You know, I call them chapters, you know, when like I said, when I'm living. What I record on the paper is, is what I'm going through. And at the same time, is I feel it's the next step from the last album. Right, so to, to miss the Dre era would be to yeah. skip a chapter that yes, happened. Sir. Yes, sir. Il termine en révélant le nombre de beats que Dre et sa team ont produit pour lui. Well, um, I think Dre may have did maybe maybe a beat, but his, his crew maybe had a, like 10, 12 um, tracks from... 
So in the studio. artists that he had in the crew, different uh, Got it. producers. So, parmi ces chansons, on retrouve le petit bijou After You Die, qui augurait pourtant d'une très belle alchimie entre les deux artistes légendaires. Dommage. In my piece, what I'ma do is pray that you bless, and my kids keep them away from the age of death. So just in case if I pass tonight, you won't prepare for what's after life. 